Hello, I'm Julia Platia. I head up client services at Feed It Back, and I'm here to take you through our section on using guest feedback to know your guests and to put them at the heart of your decisions. Understanding the guest experience must underpin every decision you make. Managing your brand reputation will directly influence this and will drive loyalty. With so many touch points throughout the customer journey, it's easy to get lost and focus on one aspect of the customer journey at any one time. But if COVID-19 has taught us one thing, it's that experience will be more important than ever within the hospitality sector when our doors reopen. It's important that you define what the guest experience means to your guests and therefore what key areas of this experience you want to focus on so you can understand it and measure it. It needs to be a measurable metric at a granular level to give you the insight you need to improve. Through our platform, we can help brands measure the guest experience across key metrics such as food, service, cleanliness, atmosphere and value, as well as through social reviews. However, in the absence of a platform, you can still gather insight on your guest experience using whatever sources you have available to you such as Google, Facebook and TripAdvisor reviews, guest emails and comments on your social posts. It's important that you take the time to understand the why behind your review scores and guest comments to fully understand the guest experience. Sometimes we don't like what the guest has to say and we can become defensive, but we urge you to take the emotion out of this process and take what you read as fact. Whether you agree with it or not, the guest, the guest has left an account of their experience and you need to listen to them to understand the drivers of their experience so that you can identify areas to improve and ready for, be ready for reopening. Ultimately, post lockdown goal has to be measuring the guest experience continually and robustly as it will be more important than ever before. MPS has become a defining figure of loyalty within hospitality and will help you understand which customer group your customers identify with from their experience with you. Customers answer the question, how likely are you to recommend us? The question is on a scale of 0 to 10, with the score being calculated as a number between minus 100 and 100. The calculation is a complicated one and an explanation of it can be found on a blog on our website. But in one simple term, any score above zero means that more customers have had a positive experience than a negative one. MPS is driven by customers either identifying themselves as promoters, those who score nine or 10, and they're likely to recommend, remain loyal, and in turn spend more with your brand. Detractors, score between zero and six. They are very unlikely to display loyal behavior and in turn talk negatively of their experience with your brand. And then passives, those who score seven or eight and fall between the promoters and the detractors. They will neither rave nor badmouth their experience, but with fierce competition in the market, they certainly won't be quick to return in the near future. Being able to identify why a customer falls within one of the three categories and then take action based on that knowledge can make a real difference. It can support decisions to prioritise products, operational delivery and systems, and in order to optimise the guest experience. Understanding your NPS score can also help you benchmark your guest experience compared to their experience of your competitors. We've recently undertaken a big piece of work to understand NPS scores by sector. You can see here that the MPS averages for the six month period between September 2019 and February 2020. And these will give you something to benchmark against. We know that operational delivery and exceeding guest expectations drives value. So you must ask yourselves and be able to answer this question. How will you make the guests feel special in this new industry dynamic, taking into account social distancing and minimal contact? We will all be exiting lockdown in a new normal, and it's important to ensure that this doesn't negatively affect the guests' perception of you. In the recent study we did, which I referred to, 
we used 880,000 pieces of feedback that we'd collected over the six month period. Using our survey, brands are able to gather detailed feedback on specific areas of the guest experience, such as food, drink, service, atmosphere, cleanliness and value. Scores are given out of five, and this table shows that the value is the overall the lowest performing area. And this is really as a result of food, drink, service, cleanliness and atmosphere, and those expectations not being met. Continually monitoring value perception to understand and improve the guest experience will be key post lockdown, and therefore you will need a constant flow of data to support this. Hospitality is an industry heavily characterised by a customer's tendency to post reviews of their experience online, and this trend will continue. You need to understand which platforms your customers are using the most to make sure you monitor them closely. You may have a large number of reviews being captured and have asked yourself many times, how are you going to respond to all of them? Like so many businesses, you focus solely on responding to the negative ones. Responding to reviews is an easy way to build trust. And it isn't just about engaging with the guest who's provided the review, but with the hundreds that could actually view this when deciding where to visit next. Therefore, any reviews not engaged with, be they positive or negative, is a missed opportunity. So it's really important to have an online review strategy in place. Our biggest piece of advice in relation to social reviews is to respond to them all, both positive and negative. For those who have left a negative review, make sure you have a plan in place to turn their negative experience into a positive one. You have one chance to do this, so take it. It is, after all, much easier and cheaper to keep an existing customer than to find a new one. Of course, the biggest challenge here is working out how are you going to manage this and fit it into your daily task list. But there are platforms available like ours that can support you with this. Please don't ignore your social reviews. Responding to them all will make a real difference. I talked earlier about the importance of value perception on the guest experience and ultimately increasing your value perception will drive loyalty. We all know about the importance of understanding your net promoter score and of responding to social reviews, but what you must never do is underestimate the power of your guest knowing that you're listening to them and taking action on what you say. This Instagram post is an example of one of our clients, Gusto, who took their Nutella and mascarpone calzone off their menu. Very quickly, they could see from their survey feedback that there was a lot of love for this dessert and that their guests were sad to see it go. So what did they do? They listened and brought it back onto the menu and went on to share that on social media. And as we can see from this post, their customers were very happy about it. Many customers will share positive things with you about their visit in feedback that they will give you privately through a survey or through an email, for example. And what would be really powerful is to find a way of them sharing this publicly. We can again help you with this, but perhaps if you have an email address, you could get in touch and ask them and thank them for their feedback and ask if, they, if you'd mind sharing it. You don't get, you don't ask. Equally, responding to social reviews, both positive and negative, shows your existing and potential customers you care. Responding to Google reviews also positively influences your SEO and the Facebook al algorithm loves it if you respond to Facebook reviews or post comments, meaning you are more likely to appear in followers feed when you post on Facebook. Guests are happy to give you their feedback. What's important is how you engage with it, as ultimately engagement drives loyalty, so you'd be foolish not to. The most important cog in your business is your fantastic team. In our survey, there's an opportunity for guests to give a team mention if they've scored positively. In a recent research study we did, 51% of guests took the time to single out a team member who had delivered a wow-worthy experience and it's important to acknowledge and celebrate this. You really must listen to what your team has to say, which you can do in many ways through staff surveys, pre-shift briefings and so on. 
your front of house staff in particular are talking to your guests day in and day out. So find out what do they think about the guest experience? What are guests saying to them? Do they have ideas as to how the guest experience can be improved? Your goal should be to engage with all team members in your brand's vision and that they should be encouraged to leave feedback when they visit another one of your venues. It sounds obvious, but sometimes sharing learnings and the why behind the changes you are making can get overlooked. In the haste to get things done, taking the time in pre-shift briefings and weekly team meetings will go a long way to engaging with your team and ultimately improving the overall guest experience as will having a board level guest experience sponsor to ensure that guest is always on the agenda at every board meeting. So what's important is finding a way to make feedback work for you. We have all been given the gift of time. So without emotion, take this time to reflect and understand what the guest experience was like pre lockdown. Ask yourself, is this what you thought it was or even what you wanted it to be? Define who and what you want in your guests post lockdown experience and make a plan to deliver it. We're all experiencing something unprecedented at the moment and lots of us are doing things we never have done before. Don't be afraid to ask your guests for feedback. They will want to tell you and help get things right. The more data you have, the better. As in this new normal we're all moving into, you will need to be agile. There is no longer time to test and learn and then make changes. You'll need to be able to do all three at the same time. Putting systems into place that will give you a constant flow of data to support this will be a requirement. And finally, get to grips with understanding your net promoter score and what's driving it. Use this constant flow of data to listen to your customers and take action. The more you engage with your customers on whatever channel, the more you will drive loyalty. Simply put, at Feed It Back, we help hospitality operators grow their businesses by listening, understanding and engaging to all kinds of feedback. By that we mean surveys, reviews, social media posts and any other form of unstructured feedback. We're delighted that we work with some of the UK's best loved brands and you can find out more about that on our website. We recently featured on Hospo Live and shared the finding of the research study we've referred to in this, in this document. You can view both of our presentation and the white paper by clicking on the links on this page. We're keen to support all operators during this difficult time with complimentary access to our platform, as well as data-driven insight. So please get in touch if you think we can help.